I think we both know who we're checking out today. Our glorious Intel Glazing website. User benchmark. So, they don't have the X3D chips up on their website yet, but I took the best uh, <coughs> AMD gaming CPU. Well, gaming. Just the more most powerful one they have, which is the Ryzen 9 9950X and the Core Ultra 9 285K. And there's only one user benchmark, which uh, is probably leaked, but still. This one has 77 because it's been out for a bit longer than this. And as you can see, user benchmark thinks that the Core Ultra 9 is faster. So let's check out why, or well, what is better. It says the effective CPU speed is faster and somehow the speed rank of the Ryzen 9 is 28th place. Which I don't really get, that makes no sense to me, but okay. Um, better single core, better two core, better four core, better law. Fair, well. Would the results be different on a website that isn't known for glazing intel? But yeah, as you can see, these early benchmarks, which were probably leaked by marketers, indicate the best case scenario for Intel's Arrow Lake desktop processor. It's been shown to be slower than the 14th generation spicy CPU from Intel. Awesome, right? And the new architecture appears to have notably higher memory latency than previous generation. Intel's 12th and 13th generation CPUs continue to offer the best value for money in today's market. My question is, did they invest in the 12th and 13th generation stock? Because it says the same thing right here. The, the same damn thing. What? Best user rated CPU. What is this? I'm going off topic. What? What is this? 24... I'm sorry, what? I don't get how this is third place, but okay. Uh, where am I now? Oh wait, ah, there we go. Um, yeah, they're they're glazing and all. Cherry picked conditions. It's latency sensitive workloads like gaming, they're just a few percent faster. Against the 14th generation, sure, sure. Against the new Core 9 Ultra, Core Core Ultra 9. That's such a mouthful. Um, it's uh, way better, way, way better. The results are actually astounding. Um, Nick Tech, a pretty good memer on technology, uh, recently made a video talking about this very situation. And the Core Ultra 9 285K, while it may be a lot more efficient than the 14th generation, it lacks hyper-threading. It has lower boost clock speeds, um, and it's way slower than the 14th generation. Like 20-30% slower? Yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> or more, in some cases, so... <laughs> and as you saw right there, why does user benchmark have better reputation on Reddit? What? Marketers operate thousands of Reddit accounts, our benchmarks expose their spiel, so they attack our reputation. Brands make boatloads on flagships like the 4090 and 4900KS, who help users get similar real-world performance for less money. Our YouTubers, we don't pay YouTubers so they don't praise us, moreover our data abstracts YouTubers who promote overpriced or inferior products. What? Okay, buddy, Let, let's go on Versus.com for the same two CPUs and see how that pans out. Last time I used Versus for all kinds of stuff, they weren't glazing one company uh, for another, you know, instead of another. Or like... Huh. Okay, I take it back. Let's see. Higher RAM speed, higher operating temperature, lower. Oh. Oh. 
a lot more cash, faster in single core. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. That that does add up. But AMD has more threads because you know, 16 cores, 32 threads instead of 24 cores, 24 threads. Higher pass mark result, which is what? What's yeah, multiple threads because we got more threads. Fair enough. More L3 cache. And then uses multi-threading, which is very neat for workloads. Faster GPU turbo speed. That doesn't matter. If you're buying such a high-end CPU, you're probably going to use a dedicated GPU anyway. A lot higher clock multiplier. Huh. It still got beat, though. And that's probably because of uh, all of these. Like, way lower power usage. More L2 cache, which is, you know, faster than L3 cache. Like, 40 megabytes L2 or 64 on L3. Yeah, that's a noticeable difference. Um, wait a minute. 40 megabytes of L2, but for some reason they have 36 megabytes of L3. Hasn't it always been L1 is the smallest, L3 is the biggest? I mean, they're all really fast, don't get me wrong, but kind of weird. Kind of weird. <laughs> Yeah, so as you can see, the Ryzen doesn't doesn't win. Wait, maybe we have X3D chips on here. They're 9th gen. Oh, well, 9000 series. No, just 7900 series with X3D chips. Also, this one is a laptop CPU. Which, surprising, but yeah. If you can't beat them, try to join them. Oh, yeah, we're still we're still losing, but like on paper, on paper at least, the Core Ultra 9 is a powerhouse compared to these other CPUs. Let me just there we go. Yeah, the Core Ultra 9 looks like a powerhouse on paper, on paper, but real world tests. Might be different. I don't know. I'm trying to try not to discourage this new chip as possible. I mean, it is also true that like the i9 14th gen is known for uh, going, going. But uh, I don't know. On paper, it's looking good. But uh, with, will it translate to real world use? I don't know. Still got the efficiency cores. Whoa. Well, the boost higher. Well, the base clock is higher, but the turbo speed is slower. I don't know. <laughs> I made this video to rant about user benchmarks, but I don't know. It's fucking AMD really is slower in this one. Allegedly. Allegedly. Oh, well, crap. Probably won't buy it. Get it together. Oh, hey, Gamer Nexus, nice. Um, there are serious problems. Are they back in the game? It's here. Disaster. It's a mess. Not what I expected. Thank you for trying. Hi, Linus. Is it really that bad for gamers? Oh my god, it's $620? I found that was a wrong estimation. Workstation focus. Uh, I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. Oh, this is a good video. Go compare it. <sighs> crazy. Crazy. Just crazy. Situation right now is crazy. Hey, Gamers Nexus. Number one. <laughs> Holy moly. Um. Intel throws a lateral with something. Tom's hardware. All right, show me the money. Let's see. Verdict, oh my God, three out of five stars? A for top end chip, that's kind of bad. Let's see. Intel's Core Ultra 9 285K. Strong gains in productivity were close, but struggles to match its prior gen counterpart in gaming performance. Okay, so it is better on paper, but it's still worse in video games. 
even though it had a higher result in single core tests, which... Huh? Pro power activity, power consumption, efficiency, support for CUDA memory, relaxed cooling requirements, higher memory OC headroom. Pricing and general regression in gaming performance. Gaming. Gaming. It's not good at gaming, guys. Can't buy it. No, but seriously, what the hell? Oh. What? What? What is this? What? Is, huh? Why is it all 125 watt out of... 250 watt. Are you saying that it goes up to 250 watts? What? 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 A performance 16 efficiency. What the hell? I think even AMD is starting to use efficiency cores, which pisses me off if I'm being honest. Oh, wait, there's none here. Okay, maybe they're not. Okay, good. Oops. Ah, this is just a mess. Oh god. Oh. What is this? Intel. Hello. Hmm. Production back at size. Da, 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 da. Oh yeah, the memory latency is higher. The L3 latency is lower. That's good. But yeah, the memory latency is higher. Bigger number bad, basically. What the hell is even this? I don't even know what it is. Thank you, Paula Alcorn. Alcorn? Sorry if I butchered that. Oh, jeez. But, uh, yeah. On paper, it's better. It's newer, it's more efficient. However, it's worse in gaming. Than the 14th generation, than the 14th generation until i9 14900K, maybe yes, I don't know. All right, so here's uh, Nick Tech, good YouTuber that makes meme content out of technology. Um, here's the thumbnail: <laughs> 48 FPS. I don't know which game. I'm guessing Cyberpunk by the looks of it. So. 48 FPS on the new Core Ultra 9 285K. The previous generation, i9 4900K, 75 FPS, which in this screenshot, as you can see, it beat both the 7800X3D, which is a really buffed X3D chip that's already available now, uh, and the Ryzen 9 9950X. So, yeah, it's. it's, it's noticeably worse than the previous generation there's no doubt about it it's, it's just worse thank you Nick Tech oh yeah this is a more recent upload they made 22 minutes ago that, that this this video is what made me want to make this video you're watching right now yeah Norna the a little less extreme 4900k not the KS boom Higher clock speeds while having hyper threading and more threads than the Core Ultra 9. 6 GHz boost clock, 5.7. Maybe just trying to not blow it up again, but still. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah, another video they made. Dun, dun, dun. User benchmark ranges over the Ryzen 9. Ryzen 7950X3D. I'm, I'm glad more YouTubers, uh, like Nick Tech, for example, know that user benchmark is uh, haywire. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope Nick Tech won't be mad, and Tom's Hardware, that they won't be too mad that I've filmed a bit of the content. And I hope user benchmark doesn't send a spy into my house. Or, well, an assassin but still uh thank you for watching uh go check out tom's hardware nick tech and don't use use your benchmarks always check out another site if you're comparing intel and amd maybe even intel and intel you never know all right bye i'm serious bye
I don't know why you keep zooming in. Why, 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 why there? That, that's even worse.